bless your name now for this word and we ask that you will speak to our hearts cause us to hear you to see you and most of all to know you in Jesus name we pray amen amen praise the Lord praise the Lord amen yes. amen nobody greater Jesus amen thank you Lord Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Praise Thank the Lord. you, Lord. I want you to turn your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter number 3. Wonderful worship, wonderful worship. Chapter number 3, verse 18. I'm going to start this and pick it up later. 2 Corinthians chapter number three verse number eighteen when you find that scripture say amen. amen second corinthians chapter number three verse number eighteen the word of the lord says but we all with open face Beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Touch your name and say we go from glory to glory. Go from glory to glory. I need a talking church for the next, give me 15 minutes. Uh, we go from glory to glory. I want to talk from the subject very, very briefly this morning. The power of godly confrontation. The power of godly confrontation. Who am I here for? Amen. Uh, I want to begin the lesson by reminding each of us that God has a plan for our lives. And the plan consists of us ultimately changing into the image of the Son of God. Did I say something there? I got a problem with folk who sit up in church, who come to church Sunday after Sunday, who never see the need to change. Where am I talking? Where am I talking? I, I can only get one or two on this one here. Uh -huh. Every issue, every situation, every misunderstanding, every disappointment, every valley experience, every tear you've had to share, every sleepless night, every lonely hour, every pain that you had to bear was simply God confronting you with the option of greater. I got three with me now. Uh, the word confrontation makes some church folk nervous. Because everybody here this morning has not made up their heart that Jesus is the only way. I wish I could get a praying church here. Uh -huh. When the word confrontation is used in the context of fighting devils, uh huh. You you you. It, it doesn't bother people when when we want to talk about confronting the devil, confronting what the devil is doing. Everybody is on board. Can I get a witness here? But when that same word is used in connection with equipping the people and personal growth and training the body of Christ, those same folk who did not have a problem with confrontation with the devil seem to have a problem with confrontation on changing their lives. I wish I had a praying church here. See, we don't have a problem with confronting somebody else's problem, but when you start, Reverend, getting in my business, it, it, it's time to go home. I, I wish I could get a praying church here. Uh -huh. uh, as long as we deal with somebody else's problem, it's all right. But but 
But but but when 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 you when when you start dealing with me, help me turn me down. When when when, when you start dealing with my business, when the word start convicting me, uh, Eb and Bishop, you preaching too long. Y'all y'all ain't saying nothing to me. You, 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 can I preach up in here? You know, it's all right to talk about Sally and her man, but don't talk about me and my boo. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Can I preach up in here? I feel something pushing me just about two minutes in, but God. Lord, help me wrong here. God wants to deal with confrontation. Hey, hey.